So uh, we have some exciting stuff to show. I think we're going to show a preview of uh, the developer preview of IE 10. OK. So uh, I'm going to be running a Chrome uh, dev and dev build. And I think I'm on audience right is my screen. And you're over here. OK. So this is the platform preview for, for IE 10. And so we've got some new demos to show you and to show you some of the, the new technologies here. Of course, the, the first thing we had to do was update the fish. So we got a, a new fish update. So let's go to the new fishbowl benchmark. And uh, this is a much prettier fish thing. Going to go ahead and hide that. And okay. let's build this whole demo from scratch. So now we're using a whole bunch of new uh, CSS work in HTML5, transitions, composition. It's all some pretty slick stuff. So first, let's uh, put our frames per second counter up there, because we love to, to count this. So first, we're going to add some fish. So here are the fish swimming around, uh, nice little background, translucent background, things like that. Let's uh, go ahead and add some water. Okay. So uh, the water here, this is pretty cool. This is actually an HTML5 video that's the background of the fish. In fact, you can see it's a summon swimming pool. There's like the filters in the background and, and stuff like that. So now let's uh, frame this and maybe mask it a little bit. So it's starting to look like a little bit of a fishbowl there. Um, we'll add a, a background and a foreground. And keep an eye up, up here. You can see we're going to go ahead and add some shine and maybe a little bit of shadow. Can, can we slow down here? Because I'm my. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to keep going, though. OK. Uh, so here's some audio. So now we've got some audio. And just to top it off, we'll add a logo. So I'm still, you're, hmm. OK. You, you always get the good demos. Yeah, I know. That's how it works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add some more fish. I'm not sure yeah. you should go ahead and do that. A lot of fish here in Mandalay Bay. I don't want to put any more fish. The fish police will show up. Let's uh, take a look at some other demos. How about that? OK, why don't we uh, try CSS3 multi column here? OK, so the tweet. CSS3 multi -column, tweet, tweet columns. columns. There we go. So uh, this is going to show some new features for just doing column, column layout like you would right. in, a, in a newspaper or something like that. So we'll, we'll show a tweet. So these are not real tweets. This is just a, a mock up. We should just tell everybody that so they don't start. But they are, they were someone's tweets. They were someone's tweets at some they're point. They're not live. So they're not live tweets. OK. OK. So, but what's neat here is we're going to go ahead and just keep showing the tweets, highlighting them, and showing multiple ones. And, and what I think you want to notice is take a look across the top. Now, part of the features of, of the CSS columns is that they should flow really nicely and, and uh, really not clip and line right. up really well. So go ahead and, and auto show the tweets. And Ooh. they're just going to start flowing through. Yeah. And how are you? You're sort of clipping them at the top yeah, there. It's, it's not quite clippy, but it's, it's clippy. Yeah. Uh oh. Bring okay. on clippy. All right, so we're going to maybe cycle. So we're going to cycle the columns. And so now this just shows that having multiple layouts for this. And you can still see that we're got, we're, we have these odd layout challenges there. And so the importance of same markup right. and really implementing the standard correctly is, is something that's going on here. And it's, so it's pretty cool to just keep, yeah. keep showing that. Why don't we go and uh, keep going, showing okay. some, some other ones. Let's um, uh, show griddle. griddle. Or I think is that what we're going to do now? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do griddle. OK. So griddle, uh, this shows uh, the CSS flex box. And so this is pretty cool. So you, this is one where you want to do an n by m layout of some, some regions in your screen. And one of the neat things about this uh, CSS is that it allows you to resize the window. So now as I resize, wow, you're not yeah, doing very well over is, there. This is kind of sad right now. Um, but as I resize, you see it, it shows the, the, the grid uh, in a correct way. In fact, you can keep resizing it, and you see how it changes almost to like a, a mobile view there. Yeah, that's really cool. So pretty cool. So. All right, so we'll, we'll go back and uh, maybe share some ES5 strict mode. OK, so strict mode. Try strict mode. OK, so a lot of the work in the platform preview behind the scenes is also just to improve uh, you know, across the board standards. So ESS strict, ECMAScript 5 script is really just a uh, a way of uh, tightening up the language, making sure that when you develop your site that you handle a bunch of edge conditions and boundary right. cases and stuff. And so we have a whole bunch of code samples in the platform right. preview, like, for example, undeclared variables. Got it. And so that's a pretty common mistake. You, you know, you're used to just using variables. And so when you run this code in strict mode, of course, you'll get uh, an error because you're using an undeclared variable. And so you can see it's not the most exciting, no fish, no swimming, but it, it, is, it is really it's great uh, for developers. Great for developers. 
so gradients are a huge pain in the neck for everybody. They, right. You're always trying to do these one pixel wide things and have them work. And every time an artist wants to change it, it's back to Photoshop and all this. So CSS has these gradients sort of built in. Right. And so in the platform preview, we've, we've gone and implemented that. So, right. so why don't we uh, actually show them a gradient in action? Ooh, can... wee. Yeah, that's my line. OK, so wee. OK, yeah. yellow. All right, so we've got that. And we can choose a different kind of gradient. Uh, oh, sorry. It. I'm just adding more stuff. You keep talking. I'll just keep talking here. It's just like work. OK, so circular. OK, well, you know, I'm going to add a stop too then. But all of this you can just change by changing the, the markup pretty straightforward. Right. There's different types of shapes, and you could obviously change the gradients and things like that. Right. Why don't we take a look at, at the markup down here? Uh, and you'll see there's actually a lot of different markup. Now, um, the, the point here in showing this markup is uh, that you know, first, all the browsers today use a vendor prefix here. And you know, that's totally fine for where this emerging standard is in the process. 